Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Olivia and I'm a gender affirming voice teacher. And today I am going to take you through a quick five minute warm up that you can use if you are working on vocal feminization. Warming up is super important for the voice because our vocal folds are muscles. So just like if you were working out any other part of your body, you've got to warm up. As we work on vocal feminization, we start to bring a little bit of tension into our vocal tract and into the whole operation here. So it's really important that we do what we can to balance that out and make sure that we are decreasing unwanted tension. So the first thing we're gonna do is stretch. And we're gonna stretch the muscles in our neck and shoulders so that we decrease that tension around the larynx, which is the cartilage structure here that houses our vocal folds. Okay, so I want you to first sit up tall, roll your shoulders back, and think about your posture. Think about your head really being stacked on top of your shoulders, on top of your hips. Sit nice and open, and then I want you to take your right hand and pull your head over to your right shoulder and just kind of gently pull don't yank it but just feel that stretch here in the side of your neck make sure that this shoulder is not coming up as you do this but kind of staying staying low now we're going to bring the head forward a little bit towards your armpit right here So we're feeling a stretch in a different part of the neck. Good, and then we'll do the same on the other side. So left hand comes over. Feel that stretch between the ear and the shoulders. You let that shoulder be heavy. Just breathing, relaxing into that feeling. And then forward in that same place. Okay, we're all stretched out in the neck. Next, we are going to work on some breathing. Breathing is really important because it's the motor that gets everything going. We breathe, that sends air through the vocal folds, and then it travels through our vocal tract and becomes the sound that we eventually hear. Breathing deeply can feel like kind of a foreign way of connecting with your breath because a lot of us breathe shallowly or breathe kind of up in the chest. And the reason we don't want to do that is because that adds tension in the muscles here around the, the larynx. If we're breathing kind of like this and we don't get a good healthy amount of air. So what I want you to do is put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, and we're going to see where you feel movement as you breathe in and out. So just take a deep breath in and out in and out. So if you feel more movement in the chest, you can think about breathing in like through a pretend straw, like with your lips pursed. Get a little whistle going. But if you breathe in, I feel like that kind of helps me connect with that lower belly breath. When you breathe in, that stomach is gonna puff out with air. And when you breathe out, that stomach is gonna come back in. So let's give that a try. So breathe in and out, in and out, in and out. If you're struggling to feel that connection with your low breath, a few things you can try thinking about are breathing down into your hips. That's something that sometimes helps me. Um, I also lay flat on my back, maybe on the ground or on your bed or a couch or whatever, and feel your belly moving up and down as you breathe. That, that's definitely helpful with that. Or you can bend over at the waist and that will help uh, feeling that, that feeling as well. So finally, we're gonna do a little vocal warm up. 
I have here a glass of water about halfway full, so if you wanna grab that, and I have a straw. So what we're gonna be doing is blowing bubbles into the water, and the reason we do this, um, it's actually an example of an SOVT exercise, semi-occluded vocal tract exercise, which is something I talk about in other videos, um, but basically these exercises are very healthy for warming up the voice. And the reason that is, is because we have that air coming up from our lungs. Because we have that, that pressure coming back, air pressure coming back from, from the water, the resistance that we get there, um, that creates kind of a cushion of air. We've got air coming from here and from back up here. That cushion of air creates this really nice, perfect environment, this kind of equilibrium for the vocal folds to warm up and vibrate really gently. So what we're gonna do is stick the straw into the water about an inch or inch and a half into the water. And first I just want you to blow bubbles. And what I want is a consistent, steady stream of bubbles. So it'll sound something like this. Now we're gonna add some voicing. We're gonna add a hum as we do that. So first we're just gonna do one pitch. It can be any pitch that feels comfortable for you, just as long as you can hold it. Two more times. So now we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna move the pitches up and down. So first, let's try to glide our pitch up. So it'll sound like this. Okay, so I am moving from my lowest comfortable pitch to my highest comfortable pitch. Let's do a couple more. One more. Okay, great. Now let's go high to low. We'll do that three times. So now let's try going up and down. We're gonna do that three times. So it'll sound like this. So when you're doing your warm up, hit these three things, stretching and any tension release exercises that you like. This could include yoga or any other things that you like to do. Connecting with your breath. Again, whatever breathing exercises connect for you. And then some kind of an SOVT exercise. Um, I love the straw and water personally. I feel like that gives me a, a lot of back pressure. Um, but anyone that you prefer is great. I have other videos where I talk about other SOVT exercises. I'll link below as well. Um, so I hope this video was really helpful for you and you use it to warm up every day. And um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.